I'm so happy to be here. It's about the hug and hug hold me uh, behind the stage. It's a good way to come here to share with you our mission. And our mission is, in the end, to democratize the education using VR. And we really, really do believe that uh, virtual reality will be a big thing one day. It's already quite big. And we believe that the virtual reality headsets, they will become as common as phones. So when it comes to learning in VR, we are like sure about it, that it's the best way to learn and we can do so much with it. And I could use the next slide. So practically we have been doing virtual reality simulations for like four years and we've learned something during this time. Uh, especially with the schools, uh, we have been getting a lot of pressure that they would like to participate in the creation way more. And then there should be also a platform which has like a lot of different services. It should have um, uh, tools for teachers and for foremen and you should be able to gather data and add and remove users and uh, this kind of uh, the technology which helps us to learn how to learn better. So next slide. And then, probably most of you are thinking right now that, um, Mr. Antti, uh, don't you think that this already exists? You know, that you've been four years thinking about this stuff and asked these schools, hundreds of people, and yes, it already exists. We are right now in one of them. We have this alt space that we are using right now, and Facebook is launching Meta and other stuff. But, next slide. But uh, I would like to ask also that has it really been enough? Because let's see that, um, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to put billions into VR development, but what we really have is quite often uh, VR simulations or VR platforms which are emulating the reality quite much. Uh, technically what I'm doing right now is doing a presentation to the audience amphitheater, which is a relatively good copy uh, of uh, real world things. So. What I do believe will happen and what should happen is that we start to really use the VR's benefits, uh, how things could be done differently. And to achieve these things, we have to do a few uh, steps before that. So next slide. Uh, what we've been doing uh, to make sure that we can share all the knowledge in the world with everyone is that we started to make the platform, that we get that deal done from the way. And this platform, is using a little bit different uh, angle than perhaps some other platforms that exist since we want to give the possibility for the users to share the data that they want to share and then this data is very see-through. So yes, we are using the technology of data gathering but we try to make it to be used as in benefit for everyone. And then this platform also includes all the time growing a variety of simulations that we are doing. Like um, practically we have all the time uh, something going on with some school and then when someone creates with us, we put it for everyone because uh, we actually uh, are not that comfortable if someone wants to create something only for their own use. We want to uh, create this kind of movement that people start to co-create and create more and more content that benefits everyone. Uh, it's actually been quite good. I mean, four years ago when we started this, it rose a little bit eyebrows like that, hey, I only want to keep this, but I think the message is going very well through that people feel now comfortable with the idea that we are truly sharing things. And then we could use the next slide. But then here is the problem, and I think the problem is us uh, as developers, since uh, very often uh, we are more like a bottleneck in the end. That there is so much demand and so much good ideas and we are also becoming more all the time more and more narrow-minded with the stuff that we are doing like uh, our imaginations is, is all the time on its uh, I would say on this maximum setting but I do believe that if we would be able to share experiences and get the people to co-create in the world that would be a very good thing because I understand that there are very good tools and softwares which I'm not even aware probably existing right now where you can uh, put your 360 pictures and even this alt space where you can create a lot of different types of scenarios. But what we heavily believe and what has been you know, revealed to us is that uh, it, it, things need to be way more complex in the end uh, to be truly creating uh, simulations where you learn and can push the boundaries 
you kind of must have way more, way more uh, abilities to maneuver and manipulate the VR simulation. Uh, you must have scenarios where you have missions, you must be able to uh, track the goals that you are doing and you must be able to also edit it like way, way more. Next slide. And yes, I'm also using the buzzword metaverse, you know, that's that's right. But our vision of the metaverse is that we want to create this kind of, um, as a final, on this kind of um, YouTube of VR, where people are creating content using our platform. And it's, uh, we believe that this will be like a four-year project. But uh, right now, where we are at is that we want to create with schools and business uh, this kind of um, expanding platform that I have been presenting to you. And in this platform, we want to have more and more content and we want, want to learn from here. We are currently teaching schools to use Unity and use Unity with our codes and with our education world. So essentially we are giving you uh, our soul and brains and everything, uh, which is the source code, what we are doing. And then we are making super simple uh, steps how to start to create with the Unity using virtual reality education world. So practically, I haven't been yet uh, that kind of um, super solid solution that you could start to create complex simulations just with the interface. But we are going there. But before that, this is what we need to do. At least that's how we see it. So next slide. So currently we are developing this with the businesses and schools. And then next slide. We want to get into a revolution step, which means in our perspective that the uh, creation will be done uh, with the interface. And uh, I can probably say that I dare to predict a little bit that uh, if the VR is going to be so big thing as we do believe, it will create new type of jobs. How I see it is that uh, at schools and businesses there will be unity developers who are working mainly on the content creation into some platform, and we hope it is our platform. Many schools are currently doing it already, but it will spread, it will become a very big thing, and also big companies start to take the development partly into their own hands too. Even though many companies do believe that they uh, usually uh, outsource everything that's not the core of their doing, but I think that the VR is so big thing and uh, it's going to be so demanding in the end, uh, but also benefiting so much that you must have some kind of ability to create. And uh, if you look at the whole picture, uh, when it goes global, that everybody can start to create complex simulations, uh, the knowledge and uh, information and the benefits and the development will become faster and faster and the uh, form which it will become uh, will be practically something we can't predict. Uh, that uh, we have learned, for example, so much with co-creation. Uh, if I look at the earlier simulations when we started, they are like full, this kind of um, uh, very, very, very much process learning and replicating the reality. But where we have went with creating with the schools, with the students, with the people, uh, with the people who haven't even touched Unity Game Engine before they saw other stuff, they have given us so much already. Uh, currently, we are doing simulations that are very gamified and we are breaking the, uh, is it even fourth wall or whatever, whatever it could be called, uh, but we are pushing the boundaries so far that we are now learning what the process is. We are not learning perhaps anymore exactly the process, but how to process learn. We are adding so much gamification thanks to all this feedback and then uh, data that we have gathered that uh, I can't, uh, uh, imagine and which is a good thing that's uh, where it will lead to. So next slide, please. So practically when it is at this stage that the world can co-create and the world can create with us, it will create expanding metaverse, which can be said that it's the metaverse of education. And there will be all the time more people which are in research communities who are gathering this data and using it for the benefit for everyone. And then there might be also a possibility to go this far with this concept that uh, it's introduced also partly with blockchain, which means that there will be people who are creating content into this world and then they can rent their 
stuff they have created. They can perhaps even sell the simulation experiences and they can sell the assets and it will start to live its own life and probably create its own currency and uh, other means of change. But uh, we also would like to get there that the people could start to share their own individual experiences. That's something that we can do in the near future, like uh, hopefully end of next year, that the people could go in here and record their own experiences into our uh, NPC character and then other people could come and relieve and replay this event. Because uh, what we have noticed, uh, which is again a surprise to us, is that uh, having this immersion that you talk with another character, it's actually very impactful. And then when you know that behind that character is someone else's story, it will uh, give you sensations and feeling about uh, unity with the people. Because we do believe that the education is the biggest key to solve many problems that mankind currently has. Uh, because uh, if you learn things, if you get to learn, if you get access to knowledge wherever you are, uh, you will know more about the world and you can see other people way better and it will create a world way more equal. And uh, currently, but uh, solutions there are, there are very good solutions are better used on mobile and you can learn with the mobile phones too. But uh, when it comes to this kind of um, uh, feeling uh, of other people and getting to know other people and how pe people are really functioning, I think virtual reality is like the best solution in that. And that's our, our biggest aim that we could put this uh, as a free platform to everyone by 2025 given that we have enough users to get us there. But uh, more people join us, more people uh, who take some a solution into their own uh, institution or company, the faster we get there and the better the world will become. But uh, yeah, we are really planning this, this uh, that uh, we could share this to just normal users for free one day and then give this special service to companies and schools. So this kind of availability and, you know, try, try not to be a gatekeeper, you know, try to be a gate opener and try to see things with a new perspective. That's a thing that we are definitely trying here. So you can give a next slide. So if you can play the video, it's okay. So here you see how it looks like at this stage. So. I'm not going to talk over Hello, it. Hello traveler, and welcome to our VR world. I'm glad that you found your way here. So I bid you welcome, and I want to tell you a few things about this. Uh, All right, this right is now. way better. I jumped into my avatar, and let the door begin. So the space that you see behind me, that's the auditorium. There you can host your own meetings, and do your own presentations. And through this hallway, we are going into the place that we call the hub. In the hub, you can meet other people, and do cool stuff, but you can also access our simulations. Our simulations are practically meant to be used by schools and businesses, but well, who knows what other instances like them. There are a ton of content that we have created, often with schools, so they are pedagogically quite valid, I dare to say, and they are quite extensive too. Here is just a glimpse about them, but we have gamified many of them, and I bet that we can surprise you with our quality. And if our simulations are not currently what you are seeking for, we can modify them and we can also create new ones for you. And let me tell you, it ain't that expensive. You can have one license of Virtual Reality Education World as low as 1000 euro per year. And you can rent a VR headset from us, 450 euro per one year. So this is very accessible and we can also install to this headset third party moderation tools, which means that we can update them from distance. I dare to say that using virtual reality education simulations haven't ever been this easy and convenient. We also have many different tools for foremen and teachers or whoever is running the education or training in the organization to keep track of what's going on and also take part in the teaching. We can create users and you can see as a master user how your class or how your team is doing. So our content is expanding all the time and we hope that we could expand it with you and create together the world's biggest virtual reality education platform 
and share the knowledge globally. So contact us and let's make it happen. Yeah, it's okay to stop the video. Might be a bit too long. Yeah. So yeah, uh, sometimes the visuals so show more than a thousand words. So I wanted to put it a bit more uh, solid what I'm saying that we are not anymore just visualizing and imagining we are already there. We are doing this and we are thrilled with all this that we are doing and uh, uh, I can't wait to see where it leads to. So actually I have like two extra minutes here. I never thought that it's possible, but I think that I've learned a lot also about doing presentations too, that I managed to finally go under the time. So I don't actually have anything else uh, to add currently. I would like to hear your input or your feedback about this uh, solution, uh, or are you seeing the future perhaps with different perspective? Uh, is it going to be that uh, people don't want to create content and uh, uh, in-house creation is not going to be a big thing or uh, is there going to be something else that you might like to challenge us? You know, we are more than happy from feedback to, I can guarantee that also, that's how we function really. So yeah, thanks.